so cool. Mother Nature putting on a fiery show like you've never seen before. I know I've never seen this before. A team of photographers capturing an incredible display in eastern Russia. Four volcanoes they found were erupting at the same time, just over 100 miles apart. And they used a special camera and created an amazing... almost as if when you look at this you're seeing sort of what that might have looked like this is it yeah this is very primal this you're right this is like this is new this is where the continents came from this is new earth being born But first breaking news, the Australian Network News is reporting five people, including a young boy, have died after an earthquake and tsunami hit the Solomon Islands. A magnitude 8 earthquake generated a tsunami of nearly five feet in the South Pacific Island chain. A powerful magnitude 8 earthquake struck near the Solomon Islands on Wednesday triggering a small tsunami that swept into isolated island communities and sparked tsunami alerts across the South Pacific, including here in Fiji. These alerts, though, were later canceled. There. These are some of the images emerging from the aftermath of the earthquake and tsunami that hit the Solomon Islands on Wednesday. show you over the last seven days and we're looking at 5.0 and greater earthquakes right here and I have to back it out so you can see how many there are okay it's just a phenomenal amount of earthquakes all in the same spot huge swarm carries on for the last seven days at least in the same spot now let me take it up to 6.0 and greater and let's count the number of earthquakes there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 large earthquakes in the same spot in the last seven days. That's averaged out to two per day, and three of them are 7.0s. 7.1, 7.0, 7.0, and of course, the 8.0. So that's a lot of movement to see, folks. Well, the Irish Whale and Dolphin Group has expressed concern over an unprecedented upsurge in porpoise, dolphin and whale strandings along the west coast. In the last 10 days, over 20 dead dolphins and three whales have been washed ashore. Over the last 10 days, sightings of the dead sea mammals have been flooding in. Well, it's unprecedented really to have so much in such a short period of time. Um, there have been 20 strandings of dolphins and porpoises across the country and um, three pilot whales as well. So I'd like the two here and one over in Dingle, Dingle Bay. I've never, I've like been beachcombing all my life and I haven't seen so much here in such a short period of time. I like to get them all washing up.
At least six people have been killed as heavy rain caused flooding in the Peruvian city of Arequipa. The deluge tore through this area on Friday, damaging buildings and washing away anything not nailed down. Officials said three of those who died were found trapped in a vehicle on a flooded road. In the aftermath, residents were left digging homes and possessions out of at least three feet of mud. Quedan las autoridades es de más o menos unas 80 casas afectadas, una iglesia totalmente destruida tras el fuerte sismo y aproximadamente unas no, nueve personas lesionadas, por fortuna, levemente. Así nos dio el reporte. Oh, ay, Dios mío, santo. Ay, santo Dios. Ay, santo Dios. Calma, 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 calma. So it is fairly deep, luckily, but 7.0 very sizable for the region. And then when you compare that to the activity on the West Pacific, we had three 7.0s and an 8.0 in the last seven days on the West Pacific. So all in all, that means four 7.0 earthquakes in the last week or greater. It's a lot of movement to see, folks, and I was expecting this. I put out a video yesterday. I'll put a link down below to it. Take a look at this amazing satellite picture of the blizzard of 2013. You can see why this snowstorm paralyzed some of the most heavily populated areas of this country. The stats are now coming in and they are very impressive. The worst hit town, Hamden, Connecticut, where they got an astonishing 40 inches. It was a record breaker in Portland, Maine, a place used to snowstorms. They got nearly 32 inches from this one. And to give you a sense of the power of this storm, the winds were as strong as a category one hurricane with gusts up to 83 miles an hour on the Cape. That's Cape Cod. And uh Overnight, America's northeast fell under the epic blizzard's wintry spell. The storm lashed New England, shrouding cities like Boston in deep snow, leaving many without power. Across the region, thousands of flights were cancelled, leaving travelers stranded. Canada was also thrashed by the storm, leaving at least three people dead. tempest, demolishing seawalls in New Hampshire, sending the ocean into Massachusetts homes, and forcing people and their belongings out. The nor'easter that immobilized more than 40 million Americans this weekend is now off to sea, but its icy residue is feet deep everywhere. In a town in Mississippi, there are other Americans digging through the remains of their homes. A powerful tornado tore straight through town. ABC's Steve Osinsami is there. In Hattiesburg, Mississippi, they couldn't believe their eyes seeing this giant tornado nearly a mile wide rolling up the street. There's huge stuff falling out of the sky. Brave residents and even braver photographers risked their lives getting these amazing pictures. Look closely and see the power again. 
tearing through electrical transformers and lighting up the sky. That is a tornado. Holy shit. Many of the incredible images we've been seeing this morning were shot by storm chaser John Sibley. All right, he joins us on the phone right now. And John, uh, what was it like being so close to this tornado? Good morning, Alan Stephanie. It was actually rather scary because we normally don't get tornadoes at large down here. Normally you get EF1, EF2s, just small little rope tornadoes. But to suddenly have a wedge coming out of the trees was rather terrifying. We don't know what this could mean, but the French press agency put out this photo from today showing St. Peter's Basilica at the Vatican on the day we learned the Pope was abdicating on a day of stormy weather in Rome, it should be said.